I have a short video for you for all the data geeks like me. This won't take too long and the form might be a little bit sloppy, but I want to make sure I cover the progress of RoboTaxi weekly. This may be a little bit of information overload, but I'm going to leave it up on the screen. That way anybody who wants to take a look at it, pause the video. Since October 11th, when I got the 10.2 version of the beta, I've been recording every trip I've done. That includes not only overall distance, but separate time for beta, the public build that Tesla owners have, and my actual manual driving, as well as a breakdown of the time I've spent with each part of the system. This simple pie chart to the right kind of breaks it down visually in a way that might be a little bit more representative of the impact of the data. That little gray 3%, that is the only amount of time that I've had to manually drive the vehicle in the last almost 20,000 kilometers. And one thing that isn't quite reflected here is the improvement, so 10.8 is quite a bit better than 10.2 and over time I imagine that manual percentage is going to drop which might seem crazy but I bet as we return to these reports we'll see it come down more and more and to the right is the main focus so for the week of January 10th through 16th which would be Monday to Sunday we did a total of 69 rides with a very surprising success rate now let me be clear a success requires the beta to get the customer from pickup to drop off with zero disengagements. Otherwise, it would be a failure. If a driver wasn't there, the customer would be stranded. So those 31 trips in that week, that 45% success rate, that is a perfect pickup to drop off scenario. It's been brought up that a robotaxi needs to be able to get to the customer, but you should also imagine in the future when this is a normal thing, when transportation as a service becomes an actual service, it's not always gonna be the case that the car goes straight up to the passenger like you often would see now with Uber and Lyft. I'm sure quite a few of you can recall moments where you've had to meet a driver in an area that's easier to get to if you're at an event like a baseball game or a concert or a festival of some sort. It's unreasonable to expect the service to get to you sometimes you have to meet them halfway this performance is largely getting to the customer not a median point or a, a meet me halfway scenario so although it is only 45 percent it feels funny to even say only because as it stands right now the 10.8.1 beta is proving that a robo taxi is possible i'm excited to watch this improve over time i'll be doing this weekly so every monday i'm gonna throw this data into a video maybe at the tail end of a normal video because because it is rather short and I don't think it really warrants taking up a lot of your time. I do apologize for this first one being a bit sloppy. It's my first attempt at representing the data. I would like to do it in a way that's more visually pleasing and not so overwhelming. But for the first video, this is what I have for you. The main focus of my channel right now is definitely going to be involving customer reactions and the way the beta is interacting with people in the real world. But I will also be including data like this on the weekly Robotax report as well as challenging courses like the Friars Challenge that's beaten the beta since the first time I tried it. In fact, my next video is going to be revisiting the Friars Challenge with a little bit of icing on the cake. So although I don't have 10.9 yet, I do want to go ahead and get that done because I haven't done the Friars Challenge since 10.8.1. I do not predict success. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate you and value your time and I'll see you in the next video.